Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sabi here. Welcome to New Fluid Art Tutorial. Oh, this one is going to be special. Check this out. Oh, this is already looking pretty intriguing. So I have created some texture using the modeling paste and a few different sizes of spatulas. This is a cradle wood panel. It's a pretty big one. It's 24 by 30 inches. It's primed. I taped the sides because I like to keep the clean wood uh, edge when I work on wood panels. And at this time, I decided to add texture only in the center. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I have been really on a journey to uh, expand my fluid art style with addition of texture. I have been exploring different combinations. And today it's a Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year, and this is the year of the dragon. And I want to dedicate this painting to this powerful sign. So with the fluid technique, I'm going to create some snake skin or dragon skin looking effects. I want to achieve this resemblance, but we will get there in a moment. So you keep watching to see the process. And with the first step with my texture, I want to create scales on the back of the dragon. So I want to have them only in the center of the panel. Tell me, is it interesting for you to learn about my ideas and concepts that go behind each painting? Would you like me to share more? So I have already created this texture with modeling paste, I let it fully dry, and then on top I added some gold leaf. Every time. For me, it's like magic. I am trying out something new today, so most likely I will also need to add gold leaf in the section after my fluid acrylics, once everything is dry. But I decided it would be fun to start out with some uh, gold as well. And for the painting, for the concept, I really want it to be, I want it to have very luxurious, very rich, very balanced composition. And I want to go for a darker green color palette. Of course, I'll have a few other colors to diversify my palette a little bit. And we're going to go for a swipe technique. So without further ado, let's get started. Bliss and Harmony, secret messages for this painting. And I wrote it here because I actually want to have this painting in a portrait layout. I'm going to start working in the landscape. And to begin with, I want to pour out some dark color inside of my golden texture and just add a little bit of shading. I don't want to cover the whole gold, obviously, but I don't know. I just... I have this idea and I'm gonna follow my intuition in the creation process of this one. I know that whatever it is, it's not gonna turn out exactly as I envision, but I know I'm gonna enjoy the, the journey regardless. So I'm just gonna work it in a little bit in the crevices of the um, texture that I have. Not everywhere, just you know, here and there. And this Prussian blue, I'm gonna pour it also right next to this gold. And my texture. Let's tilt. I already hope that I got you intrigued about why the heck did I cover up all that pretty gold? Well, like I said, I have this idea. It's either gonna work out and be awesome, or I'll make it work some other fun way. But this part is done for now. Let's move on to the next section. So like I said, we're gonna work in with some rich greens. And here I have the main color, the hero of this painting. It is phalo green. The next one here is also phalo green, but this one has um, some white in it. Oh, 
I also have mixed just a dash of phthalo green with some phthalo blue and white. So just creating very diverse greenish bluish color palette. It's mostly green. You can see the colors are very close to each other, but some is darker, some is lighter, cooler. Now a couple lighter accents. So this one is Naples yellow. Um, it's a very pale light yellow color. And um, the reason why I want to have it in my color palette, I want it to speak to this golden core. This color is not metallic, but it has similar hue. So I think it will look perfect in this particular color palette. This one here is also phthalo green, but with a lot of white. It's a very light value of this color. Next color might surprise you just a little bit, but this is uh, a red, it's alizarin red. And the purpose of this, the goal why I'm adding it, not to, to have red areas, but to actually create some shades within my green. So there is plenty, plenty of paint on the panel right now. I'm just gonna tilt it in to level it out. Okay, let's begin with swiping. So I wanna swipe with this Prussian blue color, the same that I have in the center, but I also wanna do initially just a few swipes with some red. Have some red in my base, like this one. This is a different red, so, but it's very close. So I will have a little bit of uh, red from group number one and a little bit of red from group number two. And this red, once it's dry, it will not actually stay red. It will look like a very, very dark color. Next to black. Now let's get to the main part, which is swiping with this Prussian blue. And I have my paper towels ready because I need to clean the spatula after every single swipe. Look at this beautiful reaction. Of course, all of my colors are mixed with my recipe and there is no silicone, no fluid troll. The recipe is mostly water, but it has a few very special ingredients. So if you want to learn more about it, I invite you to check out my online course. Oh, I love it. Every time. For me, it's like magic. I will never get tired of this. almost halfway done and I feel like adding a little bit more darkness inside of here and the green the phthalo green and all the ones its entire family 
it will dry darker so it will not be as light as you see it right now but i want it to be even a little darker but see this color the naples yellow it will stay light so we'll have some nice highlights i'm gonna carefully turn it towards me to work on the other side as i look against the light i can see that i have a little something just a little piece of dry paint let's keep going Gorgeous. I really like the addition of yellow in this palette. The Naples yellow creates super nice highlights within this pretty uniform color palette. Oh, look at that! Gorgeous. I'm using some paint from the spatula that I have after swiping, um, just to cover up sides above the tape. Adding a bit more darker sections on the other side, just so there is a little more balance towards the inner part as well. But I'm using a much smaller spatula for this because I'm adding details, not so much the big areas. You can totally do it freehand, just follow your intuition when working with this technique, especially if you're working with my recipe. There is always a plan for painting, but when you're inside of the process, when you see the shapes form, when you see your colors react, this is the magic of it. You have to trust the process and allow yourself to be in the moment and be super creative. There are no mistakes here. All right, my friend, I think I'm done tilting and swiping and just working on your details. I ended up covering the whole gold. I will rather add more on top. So let's see how it turns out. I will see you in a second to work on the next step. Once the flute painting is dry, I added the gold leaf back to my texture part. And I think it looks so much better now because it has this rich dark background. And if you also want to add this chic material to your artworks, I have created a guide in which I share my favorite brand usage and compositional recommendations just for you. It's a free guide, I will include a link to it in the description below this video, so check it out. And finally, I decided to add more pops of gold just throughout this dragon skin to bring more shine and harmony and of course more areas of interest. I think it adds just a magnificent effect to this painting. After a layer of varnish, final step is to remove the tape and reveal those clean wood sides. Always such a cool moment for me because this is when the artwork is pretty much finished and just a final reveal of its beauty. 
And here are the details and the very final look of this dragon painting. I think it turned out to be very powerful, strong and chic. And this painting is available for purchase on my website, so if dragon is your year, make sure to check it out. So many intriguing details in this painting, and I really love how my dragon skin turned out with a swipe technique and all these cells and very deep, rich colors, and I especially can be happy about the textured part. The possibilities are endless with this combination of techniques. May this dragon year bring you a lot of good fortune, prosperity, and creative abundance. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. We will continue exploration of this combination of fluid art techniques, gold, and texture paste. So, till the next one. Bye-bye.